Oh. Store now. Alan C. Bishop. Correction. We have the number four bowler, Derek Williams, up first, and uh, he's got a very tough opponent in Stephen Hardy of Nashua, New Hampshire. Second. All power players today, Chris. They, they play the big hook ball, and the strikes are pretty easy to come by. Uh, good start. But here we go again. So, <laughs> first shot, what do we have? Well, they started wide. We've got to remember, the first four players in the championship round don't have any singles experience, so you'll see a little bit of nervousness in maybe the first couple of frames. What he has to do is get the ball over to the right of the three pin and slide the three into the seven. I, these players are a little nervous on the first few shots, but they will get some strikes. He's going to make it. Thought he had it. Stephen Hardy, National New Hampshire. Well, his only other television appearance was fourth with Andy Neuer in the 1989 Las Vegas PBA Doubles Classic. Okay, Derek Williams, family of bowlers, led by six-time champion brother Mark Williams. Bowling out of Groves, Texas. 26 years old, looking for his first win. Good start. He has bowled in all four tournaments this week, and this was one of his most important shots. Well, this is his style. Look how he's in a really good power position. Inside-out swing, a little bit of slide at the approach, the follow through the left. That accentuates the hook on the ball. He's using the full grip, cups that wrist, a lot of speed, and really moves the pins. He knows how to win because he has won a Southwest Regional twice. In fact, in 1990, he was the Southwest Region, which includes this area, the Rookie of the Year. Now back to Stephen Hardy, who's the father of four-year-old Stephen Jr. and one-year-old Mindy. One of the five left-handed bowlers, professionals, that we have here in Grand Prairie, Texas today. So with a 3-9, Stephen is getting a baptism of fire. We can see his five-step delivery, kind of short steps for a tall player. A good position at the top of the swing. Once again, a power player inside out. Slides by the head pin very slightly and leaves the 3-9 double wood for the second consecutive frame. A tough shot. If attitude will uh, help you win, this 26-year-old has it. In our first four telecasts now, this being number four, Bo, we have had 20 different players. La last year, David Ozio won the first two tournaments. A lot of uh, different players out here. Now, here's how Hardy's playing the lanes. All the lefties are about the same shot. They'll walk in this area, the big swing out between the first and second arrows. The only thing they can make a mistake with is throwing it too hard. Stephen wearing a wireless microphone. I asked Mark Williams, who is uh, Derek Williams' brother, what problems that Derek might have, and he'd say, Derek doesn't have many problems because his speed control is excellent. Right now, Stephen Hardy having trouble with speed control. He's getting the ball in the right zone. He threw the first two too hard, and this last one too soft. And speaking of Mark Williams, there he is. Great bowler, pulling out of uh, Beaumont, Texas. And uh, the pro from New Hampshire now can collect himself while this man is going for three in a row, has a 23-pin lead, shooting in the third frame first game. All right. Derek Williams says he's his own man despite the big shadow cast by Brother Mark. Well, Bo, not really. Uh, Mark's been real good with me. He's always helped me out and everything, and I never felt like I've been in his shadows because whenever I have problems or anything, he's always right there to help me out. Ah, brotherly love. Nothing like it. String broken at three, and we'll have a three ten, and gets the applause of large crowd, standing room only, hundreds. Pretty easy shot for Derek Williams. Needs to get the ball to the right of the three pin and let the ball carry into the ten pin. All right, 
continues to mark Derek Williams of Groves, Texas. We're in Grand Prairie. We'll return after this. Crystal chandeliers and all. Grand Prairie, Texas, proprietor Jeannie Halsey, a grand lady. Two non-winners are in our very first match. This is a field of five left-handers. You're looking at Stephen Hardy of Nashua, New Hampshire, who is trailing by 31 pins against Derek Williams. He's shooting in the fourth frame of spare working. Better shot. Okay, you heard uh, Stephen's reaction. Now watch this pin action. We talked about the Fenelic or non-wood pin decks. You'll see this tremendous pin action as the head pin shoots off the sideboard. Watch it go to the right sideboard. Bang! Like a rocket ship shooting across. Takes out the seven pin. Hardy a little confused as he came up in the fourth frame. He actually got up on the wrong lane. So uh, he's kind of got his feet underneath him. And he can close the match down to 21 pins with another strike. Ah, split broken up. Happy, happy. Stephen Hardy, whose best individual finish uh, was eighth a year ago in Erie, Pennsylvania, Bike City Open, where we'll be next week. Once again, he's saved by those lively sideboards as the pin kicks off the right-hand sideboard, takes out the both the nine and seven pins, leaves him an easy spare, the three pin. And Stephen Hardy. Second TV appearance. His first was in 1989. For those of you that just joined us, he finished fourth in the PBA doubles in Vegas with uh, Andy Neuer. Now, Derek Williams opened with three in a row, spare in the fourth, now in the fifth. Pretty animated uh, bowler, a little more than Mark, as a matter of fact, his brother. You bet, and much more powerful physically than his brother Mark. Mark is also a power bowler, but he's not as strong as Derek physically. And I asked Mark, what are the assets and liabilities of his uh, brother? He says, Derek has great speed control. That's his best asset. His uh, liability is he's a little bit erratic on spares. So we'll see what happens. He has a nice big lead. So a 4-7 for Derek Williams. Williams a little quick to the line, a little anxious to extend that 31-pin lead he enjoys through five, pulls the ball right of his target, leaves a 4-7 spare, and this is what his brother says is his little chink in the armor, spare making. Let's see how he does here. With finesse. To get into the match play competition, you needed to average 225. The 